you know, I'm, I'm really liking the show, but also, we still only saw VJ Raws for, like, that one split. <laughs> to remind me, that pisses me off. Just... Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Directions. You did some Corbin. I'm Stephanie. I'm Rick. <laughs> And we are on to episode six. We are getting right through this. Uh, getting right through this thing. Uh, this six, one, it, the sexy episode. I, I don't know. This one's called something old, something new. Uh, ah, something mom. Borrowed, something blue. Because you do that in a wedding. You do. Or the the brides do. I, I don't think I did. Did I? No, you didn't. Okay. Is it just a bride thing? <laughs> yeah. It is? I think so, yes. Yeah, yeah like the garter. You weren't wearing a garter, were you, Corbin? Um, I mean, later that night I was wearing a garter, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, oh! But, um... Uh, if you are new here on YouTube, we can only use five minutes of picture-in-picture picture of the episode on YouTube. It's going to be heavily cut yeah. up. Put in it's not only five minutes of reaction of the episode but it's i can only use five minutes of the episode in the video uh so if you'd like to oh, see the full full uncut what reaction what head saying, over to patreon what he's saying is what he's saying is jeff bezos can only last five minutes <laughs> <laughs> sometimes that's all you need am i right yeah. <laughs> anyways let's just get into Crickets. this hey babe i can last five minutes I only need three. Here we go. <laughs> three, two, one. It's amazing the history of the way homosexuals have been treated throughout time. By everyone, mostly. By everyone. Now in some cultures it has been... Now in some cultures it has been... Absolutely not even thought of as a second thought. Yep. And then it's criminalized. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
Wow. I took quiz two. Beautiful. Great scene. Good. Beautiful work. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Sorry, Papa. <clears throat> For everything. And that I believed her. Mom knew. She's always known. She'd be you. Heart told the other. Basketball didn't kill by the number to Jude Bulla, came in Girgir. This is who I am. I'm sorry. Another great scene. What you did is disgusting. You went into his bedroom. Me. He's gay. <laughs> He's in fact one of the few men I'm actually safe with in Delhi. <laughs> Amen, sister. Oh, you know what? Fuck you. Nice. You can't legally evict me for another month. Do what you want. You want the law? I'll give you the law. I am fucking taking you to court. You're perpetuating an archaic tradition. It's it's super aggressive and I can't stand for it. I don't understand what the big deal is. It's it's just a ceremony. If you don't understand, then you don't understand me. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> but he really, really loves me, you know? He did the right thing. Hmm. Great job. Arjun has... Arjun's been doing a magnificent job this episode. BJ! Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no. Sorry. 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 Right, though, that's basically what you did. <laughs> Another really good episode. Yeah. That's, that's, this is the episode that basically I thought we were going to get most of the time. I was like, going to be upset because, you know, there's a bunch of homophobia. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, oh, God, this is a long episode, too. Because there's a lot yeah. that happened in this one. <laughs> He he dealt with obviously what happened in the police day. This is all uh, what's his name Rahul, right? That's his name, right? The the lead. Uh, Karan. Karan, the character. No, the actor. Arjun. 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 Yeah, he did a phenomenal job. This was very heavy on him Incredible this episode. Job. Oh man. Uh, this this episode, but yeah, he went through some awful stuff at the police station. Then he had to go through scenes with his parents which I thought were great scenes um, which was I thought really good writing because normally you'd think it's the mom that would be the more caring one and that's usually how it goes in these types of situations in terms of films and stuff it's like the dad is the hard ass that's can't see past you know his own prejudices and the mom's like I love my kid and this time it was it was flipped and she was an absolute mm -hmm. monster uh, to her child um, and then, uh, obviously, there at the end, he had some great scenes with um, uh, Sub Subita uh, when he broke down multiple times with her. And then mm -hmm. um, the last two episodes, they've had some great scenes together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have. And I, I just I, I know this is common and it's great writing, too. It's amazing to me that in a situation like the one that that uh, Sobita, the Tara character, is going through. 
fully accepts the husband back and has zero forgiveness for the friend. Yeah, well, I don't. Yeah, I don't think she's fully accepted him, but yeah, she's definitely gone through that stage of. Uh, I well, I think she probably would have. I think that's I'm sorry. Text kind of sent her off. Obviously, <laughs> she was probably just going to ignore yeah, her. But I mean, yeah, it's just it's amazing to me that she was betrayed by both of them, but the one is given full entrance back into her life. Yeah. It's just, and I, I know so it's common. It's incredibly it's common, yeah. Yeah, it's very common. Yeah. People Fine. blame the per pe- instead of like, you know, when uh, a husband or a boyfriend cheats on a girl, they go after the girl, and obviously the girl has some fault if she knew, um, but <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. you really should be really, really upset with the person you the had person a you had a commitment with. <laughs> Right, That's exactly, exactly. Uh, and the other storyline that is, you know, we, from our vantage point and what we see in America, it's it's laughable, but it does speak to a larger thing, obviously a more common thing in India, but even a larger thing here in America where you, a lot of couples don't take into consideration, they like turn away and don't look at things that the other person deeply believes and holds as traditions in their life and they're, they really kind of fake it until they're married and then the real values they hold come out like what she's doing right now thinking you know she's upholding her values but protecting him by pretending he doesn't know well he's right when they have kids she's going to put her foot down and he's going to be like yeah where did that come from and she'll say i have felt that way my whole marriage right Yeah. yeah yeah that was uh it was very interesting as well it's so once again a testament to the I think this is a very well written show one we get to see so many different styles of weddings each one is a, is a different either culture uh, from around India um, or a different situation like in terms of their cast they're higher up in the cast lower in the cast um, different parts of India um different traditions it's 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 quite impressive on top of obviously the normal storyline going on there and it's what's really impressive is you it's a i guess it's a testament to the writing and the actors that are doing it but uh, probably mostly the mm-hmm. writing you care for even these characters in terms of like some of the main ones like this guy who's literally filming his tenant mm-hmm. got him sent to jail like is just an awful person, but at the end you're like you feel for the guy, yeah. Because mm-hmm. of obviously you, you, he's been a closeted gay person his whole life, and he feels like he can't be himself ever, uh, right? And so even though you know you shouldn't feel for him because he's just been so awful, you feel for him. You feel for at times the uh, Jim, the husband, at times uh, at certain moments, <laughs> uh, most moments no, but even like. Uh, Kulki, obviously, you're, you're feeling for Kulki, even though she's saying mm-hmm. some stuff that's like, really, you don't actually think that. You know, <laughs> you know what you did, <laughs> okay? But you still feel for her, uh, and yeah. I guess that's a that's a testament to the, not only the the actors but the the writing of it. I, I feel is just it's it's quite quite yeah. impressive. Yeah, they develop their yeah. characters very well. Mm-hmm. Very well, and even. Like at the beginning, when uh, uh, in one scene, she snaps at him, and then he snaps at him, and we get to see things we like about these people, and things that we're like, wow, don't be a dick, and that's exactly what human beings are like. Mm -hmm. People that you like love and are wonderful suddenly do something, you're like, wow, that was a dick move. It's just, they're human beings. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's quite interesting, especially coming in India where, you know, uh, especially in Bollywood, the, the leads are known as the heroes that they're, right. they're perfect a lot of times. They're just they're always good. Yeah, right. they're 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 always the moral and of the, the story. Yeah, always negative. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's 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 really well done. And I do want to say if any of you guys are anything like that mother of uh, our, our lead actor, Arjun, in here, you're a terrible person and you should die. Um, don't treat your children like that. Accept your children for who they are. I 
<laughs> yeah, and I think it, I think it goes without saying that no matter what they've done, they probably don't ever deserve to be beaten with a cricket bat. I don't yeah. know. I could be I could be going over the edge. Yep, I would agree with that. Yeah. I would agree with that. Uh, it sh- it makes my just makes my blood boil. Uh, not only obviously what what she did specific because that's the worst part. I think if you're a parent and you treat your child like this, somebody you're supposed to love unconditionally, you are garbage. Yes, you are literal yes. garbage. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, this is you are supposed to be the person that your child looks to for love and support, acceptance. acceptance. I yeah. <laughs> Now, obviously, they're going to get it from. There, I was going to say that that I think that was really well written by doing the the juxtaposition of the flashback to when he was a kid. Yeah, and how when he got beaten by the cop in the jail cell and he's laying on the ground and he's trembling, it wasn't just because of that moment when we were given that other scene. We realize, crap. This is PTSD relived for him. His mom did this to him. That was really that whole scene to see those two young guys in the shower be so afraid. I'm getting emotional. Think about it. So afraid of his mom, and then his mom to beat him with a bat like that. Just it's so sad because you know that there's so many stories like that. Yeah, it's absolutely terrible. Yep. And it's well, I said it last well, episode. But also to beat your child with a cricket bat and then <laughs> oh. put it on your husband. Don't ever let your father find out. He'll kill you. I just hit you with a bat but he'll kill you. Right. Right. What? When in reality the dad would have been compassionate. Yeah, so I'm, I'm quite interested to see what happens with that relationship going forward. Yeah. Because how different yeah. would his life be now like if he could have Had always been he'd himself, been accepted as the person he was, it's just yeah. I'm I'm quite interested to see what happens with that mom and dad uh, as we go forward because I I don't know what I would do. I would be absolutely pissed off. Uh, like <laughs> obviously you would never, but if my <laughs> wife not only knew and then also told my son to not tell me right. Because I would right. beat him when you were in fact beating my kid. I like, exactly. I could. I don't think I could be with that person. I, <laughs> right. I don't, e- and I don't his, even his know character, that. His character is so well written because even the relationships, it makes you, you know, when he's saying to her at the end and he breaks down and he said, I feel so alone, it makes you wonder about this character. It makes you think, is this why he's never really had a stable relationship with any of the guys he's been with <clears> because he's so scared that anybody he's with is ultimately going to betray him and hurt him because his mom gave him that example. It's like, well, if my mom can't love me, then I better not open myself up to somebody to love me the way I want them to love me. But he, he, he's feeling the emptiness of not having a real relationship. Yeah. He wants it. It's a great character. And it's so interesting that they decided to, uh, Zoya and, and Rima and um, whoever else uh, on the writing team, because when we first met the dad, he was the one going hard at the kid, at the son for for money issues, and then she came in and saved him, like she was some big protective person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it I'm turns gonna, out I'm to all be a it. lie. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it. The format isn't this, but the characters are Shakespearean because he was the one who introduced real mm. humanity in people with obviously his tragedies but especially with hamlet where you have characters that are complex they're they're funny on one hand and then they're awful on the next hand and they have problems and questions and they're doing it it's really you know we talk about some of the best written shows that we've ever seen this one is so well done that you could miss it because this complexity of relationships and characters it's being done so well and executed so well it's making it look easy this is insanely insanely oh, yeah. difficult to 100%. write 100 percent oh yeah 100 percent yeah another great episode though oh and i want to say yeah. um gay marriage should be legal i just want to re-emphasize that uh, everyone in india i get told all the time um but i'm not going to stop talking about it until it happens um it's a human <laughs> right and so uh, it's it's quite because I've had conversations with people from India before. They said um, 
you know, it's it's legal now. It was brought over because of the British, blah, 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 right? And I'm like, well, it's no excuse right now. We're in 2021. You are not yeah. ruled by the British right now. Right. Okay? Right. So it is on you right now. <laughs> you cannot claim to be a progressive country when your citizens, just like when um, we in America, it wasn't legal. We can't claim to be a progressive right. country when you're not giving people their basic human goddamn rights. It's it's infuriating. Uh, so yeah, let, get on that, please. Uh, <laughs> it makes me absolutely infuriated. Um, but yeah, great episode. I'm glad we got to see VJ Raz there at the end. I'm hoping we get a lot more because uh, I love him. He's great. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Uh, oh, if you are still here on YouTube and watching, if you'd like to see our full uncut reactions, head over to Patreon. You can see our full uncut reactions of each, what, 45 hour long episodes of each episode. Not only this, Family Man, Put the Lock, whatever you want. Deli Crimes, all of them are on Patreon. And on!